Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Newbies Videos. Today I will be featuring my good friend Longstar and his Matilda Backprints, who is also responsible for the new intro video that you just saw when you clicked on the link for it. So what did you think about it? Is it good? Is it bad? Should it be longer? Should it be shorter? Should it contain something different than it contains now? Any good idea is always welcome with me, so leave a comment down below, or if you have content that you made for somebody who never started, that you made something for yourself but never, never finished it, send it to me and I'll look it up and see uh, is it good, is it good, so I could use it. Now, Longstar, he will be <coughs> playing in his Matilda Black Prince, which is a tier 5 British uh, medium tank, which you can get uh, in the premium shop, shop, and it's basically a tier 4 Matilda with a Black Prince named turret on it, but if you ask me it looks like more, it looks more to me like a Cromwell turret, but hey, it's Wargaming, they say it's a Black Prince, it's a Black Prince, right? Right. So, Matilda Black Prince, it has all of the good sides and the bad side of, besides all of its tier 4 counterpart, but on the good side it's, it has a better gun. Well, it's arguable if the gun is better. It has a bit, uh, bigger alpha damage, but it, uh, I think it lacks a bit on the rate of fire from the 2 pounder gun that you can use on the tier 4 Matilda. But it's accurate, accurate enough. It's it it has a decent uh, penetration number on it, and it it behaves itself, as you can see in this, uh, as you will see in this in this uh, replay video. Now, the faults the faults are almost the same as on the original Matilda. The faults are that it's it's uh, like really slow. You can't. It's a medium tank only by title. If it it should have been a it should have been a heavy tank, if you ask me. It has an uh, it has an armor profile the same, almost the same as a KV-1, which is a tier five uh, Soviet heavy tank. Uh, armor wise, in tier four, almost nothing can penetrate it successfully. I mean, there are a couple of tanks like the Mar 38T. Maybe the M3 Lee could penetrate it successfully, but everything else would just struggle. So, my memories of Matilda before I grinded out well was that I hated its guts and couldn't wait to get into my KB1S and one shot the bastard. Now we see Longstar doing his first kill. Good for you, mate. Keep it up. Neil doing one as himself. Oh, by the way, he's in a platoon with uh, Neil and King's Merger. They're both in their tier 5s, and they are trying to have a nice game to quiet without the problems of high tier games. Now, <coughs> what he, uh, what my friend uh, Longstar here is doing, he is moving along, he's trying to control the corner on the 9-0 line, but he runs into two top tier heavy tanks, which are making easy work of Matilda. Now, I did say the Matilda has an overpowered armor profile, yes, in tier 4. In tier 5, there are enough tanks and enough guns that can successfully penetrate its 75mm of uh, frontal armor plate. But, it's still a Matilda, so it's still... It's still technically tier 5... Uh, it's still a tier 5 machine in tier 5 matchmaking, so it does have a gun that can, either, that can also penetrate the KV-1s. And the KV-1 and the T-150. But they seem to go. They seem to have turned on their cloaking shields. Come on, guys, where are you hiding? Hello? Hello? KV1? T1 heavy? No? No? Ah, there he is, there he is. Nice. Nice shot from Longstar. The gun, all, but uh, although he, it has a good penetration and the alpha damage is appalling, it's like 60-70 alpha damage now he's using APCR shells APCR shells, he's using them to kill the KV-1 the KV-1 has better armor, especially from the front to the T-150 
which he just killed uh, with uh, not the T-150, the T-1 Heavy, um, well, I apologize. Uh, it has better armor than the, the T-1 Heavy, but the T-1 Heavy still is still no no paper tank. So I think my friend Longstar is soon going to regret shooting those APCR shells at the KV-1, which he could have easily killed with the APs now. He's using the building, he's hiding the tank, he's trying to angle his armor every time he moves out to shoot <coughs> at the enemy T1 heavy while letting the uh, the heavy tank tanks uh, try to flank him. Now he ha he does have assistance. He has assistance in a form of a T1 heavy in front of him which is trying to assist him in uh, killing the enemy T1 heavy. Now he's moving up. The T1 heavy in the enemy team has the second best stats so He's not the MVP, but he's not bad now. <laughs> As you can see, the Matilda is, is quite good on shooting at on the move, being that the tank is slow enough and its top speed is about 20. Uphill, downhill, downwind, upwind. I think if he had help, he couldn't go over 20 kph. So he's moving along. He's trying to get the last two tanks. Now it's an artillery and a Stuck. I. We will start, we'll see, will he be able to reach there, but I wouldn't bet my money on Matilda trying to drive half the map around to kill the two last two tanks. And no, artillery is gone, and the Stug is about to die. Yep, that's it. No luck, we're moving on to the result screen. Now, as you can see, he made a hefty profit, he got a second class mastery badge, he got duelist, and he got fire for effect. He made 4600 experience and made 33,000 credits. He, as you can see in the second now, he got top one experience earned, third on uh, damage done, <clears throat> and second on kills. Now moving on to the detailed report, he, you can see how many shots he fired, how good the gun is, and how accurate it is. Now thank you everybody for watching and see you next time.